Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. For those who do not know who the heck I am, my name is Danny Matthews. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the best video editing keyboard that I have found. Now you may be asking, what keyboard are you talking about? It is the G915 TKL from Logitech. Now this keyboard is beyond awesome, not just because of how it looks, but with the actual functionality of this keyboard. I'm gonna go into the keyboard a little bit more and talk about the reasons why I love this for editing, but one of the first things that got me is how well it's made in the functionality of this keyboard and what it's able to do. For me, I'm super minimal and I love anything that's super sleek and thin and just is super minimalistic. And this keyboard literally has everything that a minimalist could ask for. Absolutely perfect for the editing setup and the functionality that I'm gonna get into more here is absolutely perfect. Now, if you've never seen this keyboard, it's definitely something that when you first look at it, you're like, wow, that looks super nice. And you might be saying, wow, that looks super expensive. And it was a little bit more on the price range. If you're looking for something that's more budget friendly, this is probably not gonna be the keyboard for you. This came out after tax around 206 for me. And honestly, it was worth every penny and I'm not complaining one bit. By no means am I sponsored by these people. I really wish I was. I just absolutely love this product and I wanna bring it to other video editors who are looking for something to level up their game. Now finally getting to the functionality of why this keyboard makes it great for editing. Some of the reasons why I really love this is going into the Bluetooth aspect of it. I love anything with no wires. Logitech came out with this keyboard and it has absolutely no wires connected to it unless you want to use it for something else, which we'll get into here shortly. It is absolutely amazing with the Bluetooth, how quick it is and how responsive and how well it was made. And they made these keyboards really responsive for any type of movement in a video game or anything like that. So if you are a gamer, these are perfect for you as well, but it's also great for video editing because of how responsive it is. And one thing that a lot of people talk about for this keyboard specifically is that it has the light speed where you can connect it right into a USB and it's all good to go. And it's actually even quicker responsive than it is with the Bluetooth, which Honestly, I don't even see a need for that unless I really was like a diehard gamer. Another thing that I absolutely love is that it lights up. It has all these LED lights for every single key and there's actually different functionalities for these too. You can have different colors and you can have different sequences. You can also go into customizing this a little bit more. I haven't explored that as much, but I do know that there is some sort of customizing of color and color coding and how it works with all of that. But basically the default that it has is pretty awesome. As you can see in the short sequence that I showed you in the beginning of this video, it has a bunch of different colors. It can go from like a multicolor, uh, I think it's between maybe three or four different colors and then there's an all blue and then there's one that goes through like all of the colors of the rainbow or something. It's, it's pretty crazy. So these keyboards have different options of how you can buy them. I bought the linear keypad, which is different for depending on what you're looking for. They have a tactical and they have a clicky when you like hit the keyboard and it's like makes a clicky noise. The linear is super quiet, but it has that same feel for it. And I love that, but I wanted it to be quiet when I'm video editing, right? So I got the one that's linear, but they have so many different options that you can explore. And they also have a white keyboard. One thing that I've run into is I have a Mac and the keyboard is made for Windows and I've switched the keys to make it functional for the Mac. But honestly, it works both ways. If it's something that you're not really willing to like change that or change your flow on that, then definitely look into a different type of keyboard. But I can tell you that it works for both Mac and Windows. Another really awesome feature that I never thought I would ever need in my life has a little scroll wheel on the top of the keyboard, which is actually default set to your audio decibels. And honestly, I love this because it's so much easier than like reaching over to my computer and hitting like buttons or whatever. You just simply like scroll it real quick. You can also change the functionality of this into whatever you need. Another thing about this keyboard, kind of going back to originally what I was saying about the first glance of minimal, this keyboard literally is the definition of minimal. They put just the minimum amount of keys that you need for anything. It's super compact and it's just super thin. Another thing that I do want to go over is it has two different sets of how it stands which is absolutely awesome you have like a shorter one here and then you have a longer one here if you want higher height to when you put it down on the table and you want to start typing uh, I think that was really awesome that they added that. Kind of bringing this all into why should I buy this for video editing? I personally believe that this keyboard is really well made and the Bluetooth honestly is beyond me of how well it works. I've had keyboards where they just disconnect or they take like a minute to like figure out that it's still connected to the computer. The Bluetooth in this keyboard has never failed me as far as I've been using it and it's extremely quick. 
and it's also great for any other kind of video gaming if that's something you're into and that for me just the bluetooth alone was the biggest game changer for me also if you're in design and into like minimal and just things looking really beautiful design this piece is absolutely beautifully designed this thing is very well built and you can tell it's not just some cheap thing so far for the battery life it has been honestly great and the cool thing about it is it shuts down every time uh, when you're not using it for a long time to save that battery and honestly you just press one button it's good to go and it's all connected and that's again the bluetooth is just astonishing to me how that's so responsive i have not found out how long for the bluetooth i've had it for about uh, three weeks now and the battery is still going so I'm assuming it's gonna be a pretty long time before it dies But honestly getting into this brand and understanding logic tech and what they have to offer They also have other keyboards that they have on there that you guys can check out as well as really cool things that are compatible with the keyboard as well as mouses with that and other technology that you can piece together and it's really cool that they have something like that to offer it's mostly for gamers but what I've ended up finding out is a lot of things made for gamers are actually a lot of people use for video editing. And as you kind of get more into that and start understanding more about all of this, you will realize this as well. And this keyboard, I can tell you, has been absolutely amazing for me. So if you're really in design and you love the Bluetooth functionality as well as that it is wireless and it lasts a very long time, also has the cool colors and you can use it for gaming and it looks freaking dope, this is definitely the keyboard to buy. The only downside really is that price, like I said, after tax is coming in at around 206 and uh, before tax, I think it was around 193 I'm not too sure. It is definitely something that's worth your money and you will not regret it. Also guys, go ahead and leave a like and who knows, maybe if you want to subscribe, you know, I'm not against it, totally up to you. But if you enjoyed this video and you want more similar like this, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will go ahead and make more videos similar to this because I actually really enjoyed doing this. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.